everyone. Thanks for tuning into Santos Custom. Today we got a special video. We're not building or doing any type of maintenance or modifying anything today. We're keeping it simple. We're helping you guys set up your power link from IE on your Mac so that you can go ahead, tune your car and enjoy the free power. So if that interests you, stay tuned and let's get to it. So let's get to it. The first thing you have to do, let's assume that you haven't yet, is to go on the performancebyie.com website, purchase your IE PowerLink cable. Um, once you purchased it, it's going to take a few days to get to your house, so that should give us plenty of time to get your Mac OS set up so that whenever your cable comes, you waste no time. You run downstairs to your car, plug in your PowerLink cable to your laptop, and hit that tune button so that you can unleash some power. This next step is now fully optional. Uh, depending on what your laptop is, mine is a MacBook Pro. So as we know, MacBook Pro do not come with a USB uh, plug, uh, only come with USB C's. Uh, so I had to purchase this USB C up that will provide me with some USB ports that I can connect my power link cable to it. This is the model that I choose. I put all, I'll put all the links of everything that I'm sharing on the description down below. Um, this was $50. Uh, there's some that are, uh, that are cheaper. I just purchased the one that will better fit your budget to it. So the first step we really need to do is go ahead and download Microsoft Windows 10 um, so that you can have the image, which we call it as an ESO file, uh, into your Mac. So you'll come to this URL or you could go on Google, type in Microsoft Windows 10 ISO and hit enter, it'll come up most likely to this URL and this is an official Microsoft website. Just select the multi edition because it's good for Windows 10 Home and Pro. Uh, click confirm, that's gonna start a download on your computer. It will most likely download for six or seven gigs of data. Um, so once that is started, let it aside and we're gonna open a new tab and this time we're gonna go ahead and download the VirtualBox. VirtualBox is basically just a software that will allow you to create virtual machines on your Mac, meaning that you'll be able to install inside that virtual machine a Windows computer, so you'll be able to have Windows running, and you will be able to leverage and install the IE software and connect your PowerLink cable. So the first thing you need to do is once you're on the VirtualBox website, come into downloads. Uh, once again, I'll put that link into the description down below. And what you need to click on and download is this option over here, because we are looking for Mac OS Intel host. Since our host, which means our system is a Mac, this is what we will need. So once you click on that, it's going to download the software. Once that software is downloaded, just double click on it on the DMG file. It's gonna ask you to install it, install it, and once it's done, we're ready to next go. Step. So since the uh, VirtualBox software is now installed, go ahead and open it up. It should be on your task bar or on your desktop. There should be a virtual uh, box icon. Um, once you open it, you should have something similar to what I, you're seeing on my screen, uh, and we'll go from there. So the first thing you have to do is go ahead and click on new, because this is we would like to create a new virtual machine. So let's call it example IE or Put it in caps because IE performance. <laughs> so let's call it IE dash windows. The default folder location, leave it as is, unless you want to specify a different uh, folder path where you want to store your VM, but I'll leave it as that uh, for now. Uh, the ISO image, this is where what is important. So you'll go ahead and click on that menu and your option, you'll need to click on others and retrieve into your downloads location. Mine, since I downloaded uh, already, uh, it's under downloads, under ESO directory, and it's called Windows 10. Yours, it's going to be most likely directly under downloads directory. Once you have selected that, I know that my entitlement or the subscription that I did purchase for Windows 10 is for Windows 10 Pro. So I'm going to go ahead and select Windows 10 Pro and make sure that skip on a tenant installation is on check. Leave it as is, like that, it's going to install and Click on all those buttons that need to be there without having you to click it and stay in front of your screen while it's doing it. So we'll go ahead and click on next. Uh, you're gonna define which username uh, you would like to create on your Windows machine. So let's go ahead and call it like IE uh, performance. We're gonna give a password. There we go. The next step that we need to do is you need to enter your product key 
So I'm just going to type in one random for now, and we'll change it afterwards once the machine is, is started. The host name, you can leave it as is, i.e. Windows is perfect. The domain name, we don't care, leave it as is. You're going to go ahead and click on Next. At this step, this is where you're going to define how much memory you're willing to leave or give to your virtual machine. I have 32 gigs of memory available, so I'm just going to be a bit generous. I'm going to give it, let's say, like eight, eight gigs of memory. The CPU, I'm going to leave it at default as one. So we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And over here, it's asking you to create a virtual disk. This is a disk space that will be allocated for your virtual machine. Click on next and we should be good to go. So go ahead and click on finish. There we go. So this started automatically a new window, might be a bit smaller um, on your uh, laptop. Mine, it opened up in full screen. Uh, so the installation has started. So since we didn't check um, the skip automation step during the installation, it's doing it for us. So that's going to take a little while, depending on how much memory and CPU you're allocated for this VM. It could take anywhere from, let's say, 10, 15 minutes to approximately like half an hour. So let's give it a few, let it breed, and let's get Windows running. Here it goes, folks. Um, so the installation is not completed. As you can see, it's really, really small. And this is normal. We just have to do a little um, configuration. So the first thing you're going to do is going to come out of the top. We're just going to go into VirtualBox VM um, top menu. We're going to go click on devices and you're going to click on insert guest additional CD images. You're going to click on that and you're going to give it a minute. Afterwards, you're going to come over here. You're going to click on your folder. It's going to open this. Click on this PC. And as you can see, the guest additional is now inserted into your VM. So you're going to double click on that wait for it to load, and then you're going to click on VirtualBox Windows Additions. Just follow the on-screen instructions, click on yes, and a few next, 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 next if required, and it should all be done. This will just install other components, some drivers, just to make sure that you're able to leverage the full screen of this virtual machine and no longer only a small miniature screen. Uh, following the restart, um, I think the computer will automatically restart. Uh, it should have a Windows uh, full screen. As I could see, it asking you for reboot. Do you want to reboot now or you want to reboot later? Leave it at reboot now and we'll get that done. Click on finish and the VM is restarting. Now Windows is almost restarting. It says, please wait. There we go. So now we have a full screen of Windows 10. Uh, running on our computer. So the first thing we need to do now, since we have a now a working Windows 10, is we need to go ahead and on the internet, go on tuning.performanceby.ai, get the software installed. So let's open up Microsoft Edge. That's our default browser. If you want to spend the time, go on Google, get Google Chrome. Within a matter of seconds, we should see two new tabs opening up. Um, once they are open, we're going to go ahead and go on, on tuning.performanceby.ie website and we'll take it from there. As you can see, it says download. So we're going to go ahead and click on downloads. Within a matter of seconds, that should be downloaded. As you can see, it's already starting and the file is there. So we're going to go ahead and click on open file. And as you can see, the installation pop up as start. So here we go. So now that it's open, we're going to go ahead and click on it tells me over here. This is for the power link drivers. Do you wish to install these components? We're going to go ahead and click on install. Give it a few minutes uh, that will install. It's going to flash a few black screens on and off asking you a few pops up. If you're willing to really want to install this application, just go ahead and click on yes. Then you have the disclaimer that says, before starting this installation, please ensure that the PowerLink dongle is plugged into your USB port and that the green light is illuminating. So we're going to take the cable, which are PowerLink, and we're going to plug it into the dongle. Now that we have plugged in our PowerLink, the light might not be steady green, might be flashing. That is some things that happen. So what are you going to do at the bottom right? You're going to click on that USB icon. 
and you're going to see that hey look at that there's an integrated engineering ie powerlink v4 that shows up on my options so you're going to go ahead and click on that you're going to select that and you're going to go ahead you're going to hear a little ding that something was kind of connecting setting up the device as you can see we're starting up the ie power link now it's connected you're going to go ahead and click on next and we're going to go ahead and click on install yes we're going to trust this device software click on install and then it tells you over here that please unplug the power link device before you start any software so click go ahead and click on next and click on finish now you can go ahead and unplug your power link cable as you can see the installation continue and there's this is the second step so this is the ie flash wizard so this is the application that you will be using uh, to go ahead either data log um, values from your car or go ahead and install the tune so you go ahead and go click on install now it's going to download a few uh, megabytes of files that should take only like a few seconds should be done once the installation is completed we should see the ie software open up as you see over here the end user agreement we're going to go ahead and read them and agree or disagree to them and this is the application that is now open like that browser and now we have the application which is uh, your flash wizard it says connect your power device please make sure that it's plugged in your power link. so we're going to go ahead and reconnect your power link there we go it has detected and it's now loading and also if you look at your dongle uh, you should see a green steady light the light will no longer be flashing this is good so that means at this point that you're able to do two things either you could click on tune or you could click on extras uh, the power link cable is now fully compatible we install the uh, ie software with the drivers so that we can go ahead and go tune our car or uh, do some data log or extra components that we like to do so once again guys if ever you do have any questions i recommend you guys visiting on facebook the uh, ie team customer group uh, there's a lot of folks in there they'll be able to answer your questions and if you prefer you could always go back on performance by ie website uh, open up a support case with them and their support team uh, is there to answer your questions as soon as possible so hope you guys like this video hope it's going to help you guys achieve and install the ie power link on your mac and if you do have any questions write it down below if i miss anything or any steps or you'd like to bring any information to help others go ahead leave it down in the comments below so stay tuned thanks everyone and see you on the next video